We're done in Eos. It's time for Yumbo. Now, this stuff I reckon is more exciting than anything else I've actually seen because uh, I haven't really seen much of what Yumbo do, but they keep their power a lot more secret. But we've got the rough outline here. It's very hard because people don't upload all their rides. But basically, the point is they were doing some wild stuff, including some real short efforts and then some endurance rides. So it's time to get into it. This is the rough outline, three day blocks, efforts. Uh, and some testing as well. So we're going to look at Janus uh who is pretty outrageous, won the Giro uh, under 23 last year and has just an unlimited contract at Yumbo, it seems. So first day, he didn't upload with power. I don't really know why. Uh, you can see the cadence here, maybe a change bikes and I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. That ride was just like a standard four hours endurance ride. No need to think about anything else. Uh, it's just, yeah, standard day out for the boys. Next day, we had some interesting efforts, which I don't really, what I want to say, I don't understand. I've just never seen really pros do this that much. But you can see here, just 220 normalized, so pretty, pretty relaxed. Um, and then this sprint block as well here. So oh, it's pretty easy if I go into the laps, but you can see the laps here, 577 um for 50 seconds and then yeah basically they did four of these all about 580 watts um and then he did another block of 40 seconds um of 600 watts almost which is pretty strong i'm not really sure how heavy it is uh it's it's always tough to tell with these people but you know he's not going to be over 70 realistically so low 60s um but yeah it's pretty pretty strong efforts all around to be honest um in general Normalized 266. What's also interesting is how easy do the Yumbo boys ride? Yumbo boys ride easy. 230, no stress. So you can see, like, definitely a different training philosophy to UAE, who um who like to ride really hard. Obviously on the front here and upper climb, he's riding a bit harder, like 290. But in general, it seems like these boys like the like the mints. So that is uh the next day. Then the day after was just like a five hours. This was a slightly harder ride than I'd imagined. Two four or seven normal as you can see here, like two sixty here, a little bit of two seventy five. Look at the peak power. It's nothing too crazy. Ten minutes two ninety watts like, like at the top. So maybe they go a little bit harder than I I thought they'd do. But it's not quite like UAE full death zone, uh upper zone two. So yeah, interesting to see. Uh, then we've got a day off. This was an easy ride. You can see 190 normalized heart rate sub 100. So very, very easy. This was like launching their kit or something. So pretty standard stuff. Um, so yeah, we're, we're currently on this day here, the Friday, and then we start some efforts. Obviously Sunday we got testing. No one uploaded testing, even Hasink. But again, you can see like what are these boys doing now? They're doing max sprints. And to be fair, 1242 that's not bad at all like these guys have good sprints um i think the peak five second was 1179 which again is not not insignificant if we go on the power curve we can see there i think they're around 10 second sprints ish and he's cracking out over a thousand watts um for 10 seconds which again like 15 seconds of well of over a thousand as well like these are pretty good efforts for a climber um, you can see it on the laps here, they were 20 second sprints ish, 966 for 20 seconds. Again, pretty impressive. So I think the point is these guys are doing a lot of sprint work um, during winter. Maybe it's just to keep their punch. Maybe it's also that it's something they want to they wanna work on. Maybe Stan Emitter is like, I'm just not that punchy guy. I've got to do some efforts. Um, so yeah, again, 250 normalized, but obviously that's massively increased by the spikes. Um, if we look at the rest of the ride, two th two thirty five normalized, nothing too crazy. On the climbs, two forty. So again, nothing too nothing too major. Two sixty seven there as well. Um, for this one, on uh, so yeah, like again, nothing nothing bananas. Then we had some testing, which I don't think anyone uploaded power data from, which is kind of tough. So you can see they did like a a kind of eight minute steady-ish 1260 bam we're really on the bam now that's when you know we get into deep stuff then he did like 1400 bam which doesn't sound good but it's five and a half percent so like that's pretty hard effort you can see Hari getting up to 174 so decent and then the last test he did was like five minutes max he seemed to have gone pretty pretty quick 29k an hour again up like five and a half percent is although the bam 1600 it's probably like close to 7 watts per kilo ish 
So again, like you can see heart rate going to 187, so probably near max. So, you know, obviously you can't really tell much from it apart from they did some testing. Uh, then we had some chaos with uh, with my boy uh, Stan and Mitter. So Stan and Mitter actually got ill uh, and I, he didn't really ride much, but we went to go over to Hessing. So Hessing on Monday, we actually missed. Um, but what he did on Monday was just six and a half hours easy. I can probably find it. Give me one minute. Um, yeah, this was the ride here on Monday. It was a uh, long day one. You can see even there, DS joined. So showing again that the the boys do ride easy, which I think is always interesting to see. Like, okay, you might say it's a little bit harder, 260, 260 normalized. But Hassink is like a heavier guy-ish. Like his threshold is pretty decent. But again, you can see like on the front here, 270 maybe it's harder than i kind of thought they are but they're not they're not full uae death zone and the reason why i say that is because uae actually do ride so hard like 280 normalized three hours steady these guys maybe it's just like low tempo on the climb zone the higher zone two on it so nothing too crazy but you can see like the average watch 224 for six hours is is decent but it's not it's not bonkers um then we have tuesday which is basically like a rest day um, and then Wednesday again, they were doing some efforts and I don't really know. I mean, you can tell from the, the shortness of them, uh, that they were, sh they were like minute and a half maxes. It looks like, or, or some two minute stuff again, like pretty short efforts. You, you think for this, this kind of duration, if we, if we zoom down here, you're able to see some efforts. Um, and then again here, it was like some real short efforts and two minutes, two minutes on, maybe two minutes off is kind of what. I would guess that these efforts are, but again, it's hard to say, but it's, it's like all short stuff and then endurance, which is maybe not what you'd expect at this time of time of year. Um, and then Stan Emitter, I think he just did this ride on Wednesday because I think he was a Friday and he got ill or something, but yeah, that's basically all we've really got to analyze. Um, it's hard to get all the stuff because Hessing changed training groups. He didn't always upload them, but you can see what's the difference between Ineos. Um, Ineos is a bit more clear. I was had more data, like you can see three days on one day off. Yumbo three days on one day off as well. So that seems to be a standard UAE, maybe not. But these guys, again, three days on one day off. Ineos had a little bit more intensity, in my opinion. Um, like this, these kind of six day blocks is pretty tough. While Yumbo like eased into it again. And then like they did have some easier rides. Um, and just again, like the efforts they were doing. Connor Swift, who was, I was analyzing here, yeah, he did do some 20 second sprints, but like he did a lot more tempo while Yumbo, it was really just a lot of um, short, high intensity sprints. Um, so I guess the final point is, is this useful for your training? Probably. I think if you don't have a big punch, it probably does make sense to do some sprints over winter, some 40 seconds, 50 seconds uh, to try and maintain some. I don't think you need to do mental amounts. Like as you can see from from the efforts here, like they're not doing the sprints they're all doing. He did one, two, uh, what, seven sprints early on in the ride. Um, and then again, I think one of the early rides, which I closed down, that was only eight, th eight 40 seconds and slash 50 seconds effort. So you need to do a lot of it, but yeah, just interesting to see how Yumbo and Ineos differ in their training camps. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. Cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.